So today I'm going to show you how Mrs. Berger would like for you to do annotating. Um, so I'm sure you've annotated in other classes, possibly in middle school, um, but I want to show you how to do it with a scientific text. And what's great about annotating is it helps you interact with the text, it makes you become more involved with what you're reading, and it also helps you prepare um, to write a summary later on. Okay. So let's look at the article that I'm about that I gave you today to annotate. Okay, so this says how cheese, wheat, and alcohol shaped human evolution. So I'm going to start reading it, and I'm going to take some notes in the margins, possibly highlight some words. Um, I want there to be, I would say, at least five um, annotations per page that you're reading, um, and that doesn't include underlining or highlighting or anything like that. Okay, so I'm gonna read here. It says, you, are, you aren't what you eat exactly, but over many generations, what we eat does shape our evolutionary path. Well, I'm gonna write a pen here that says, over many, many generations, what we eat does shape our evolutionary path. So, sounds like evolution to me. Um, so the anthropologist says that diet has been a fundamental story throughout our evolutionary history. Over the last millions of years, there have been changes in human anatomy, teeth, and the skull that we think are possibly related to changes in diet. So there have been changes in human anatomy related to changes in diet. Okay. And I'm going to write, you know, a million years... really isn't that much time if you think of you know how long evolution takes okay so as our evolution continues the crucial role of diet hasn't gone away genetic studies show that humans are still evolving so I'm going to highlight that because that's important humans are still evolving and we know that about because we've learned about that with like the vestigial structures of people losing their wisdom teeth with evidence of natural selection pressures on genes impacting everything from alzheimer's disease to skin color to menstruation age at what and what we eat today will influence the direction of what we take tomorrow okay so our food choices Can drive our evolution. Can drive Evo. When mammals are young, they produce an enzyme called lactase to help digest the sugary lactose found in their mother's milk. But once most mammals come of age, milk disappears from the menu. That means enzymes to digest it are no longer needed, so adult mammals typically stop producing them. And this is what is called lactose intolerance. So I'm just going to write lactose intolerance. Thanks to recent evolution, however, some humans defy this trend. About two-thirds of adult humans are lactose tolerant. Which is kind of neat because we technically shouldn't be able to. Okay? So this must have some sort of benefit. I'm just going to leave this here um, because I don't have the rest of it, but I can. you can see that even though I've read like, I don't know, one, two, three and a half-ish paragraphs, I've done a lot of writing and a lot of highlighting. Um, and this is going to help me write my summary paragraph at the end, which is your assignment. So when I'm looking to check your work on um, an annotation article, I'm looking for you to have highlights, uh, possibly underlines. Um, you can do either or, it doesn't really matter. And I'm looking for notes in, in, the, in the margins. I specifically left large margins here for you to be able to leave notes. Um, now, if you have any more questions, you can ask me, but this is your... Um, crash course in annotating for Mrs. Berger. I hope you have a great day. Bye.